Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please excuse my stuffy voice. I have a little bit of a nasty cold that's not going away. Hopefully you can understand me and let's get into it. So today we are going to review the new Suba Beauty block party collection. So I'm super excited that they wanted to send me these. Like I actually cried just a little bit when they reached out to me to be on the PR list because Suba Beauty is one of my favorite brands for a while now. They're cruelty free. If you've been watching my videos for a while, I always use Cupcakes and Monsters palette which has eight matte shades and I think this one is discontinued but all of those individual shades are still on their website so you can still like technically make the palette. So the new Block Party collection comes out July 23rd. I'm going to be swatching everything and I'm going to show you how I did this look and like talk about my thoughts about about this palette. Yeah, if you want to see, then keep watching. Basically, it consists of three new Hydra liner slash FX shades. There is one Hydra liner and two Hydra FX, and I'm gonna take them out for you guys. If I'm being honest, they were already open. I used it to create this look and the one I'm wearing right now. So there's grape soda is a uv color tracksuit which is a another uv color they keep thinking jumpsuit when i think of that. i don't know if you saw my last video but it's a new 21 pilot song and then the last color is a hydra liner so this one doesn't have uv paint in it so it's safe to use on your eye i think it's just a legal thing that they can't call the uv ones hydra liners because you're not technically supposed to wear them as eyeliners that's why they're called fx so the last one is called freezy and it's this really pretty color, matches the background. So I'm gonna swatch these for you guys, but first I wanna show you the Block Party palette. Here is the Block Party palette. It comes in this holographic packaging. Sorry that it's ripped, but I already opened it, obviously, because I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. It's got 10 shades inside, five mattes and five shimmers. So I guess we'll just go right into swatching. I'm going to start with Freezy first, and I'm dipping my brush in some water. This is isn't really the kind of brush I would typically use, but I can't find any of my brushes right now. So I'm gonna zoom in here. Hello. That's literally just one swipe. It's like a paint, basically. It's a really pretty color. Next, we're going to do tracksuit. We're just gonna ignore those glitters because that was my bad. I did a look yesterday and I spilled some glitter on it, but I'm just gonna wipe that away. It's a little bit watery, so I'm gonna layer it again. So that is tracksuit. Last but not least, we have grape soda. I love that name. I love that they released these three together because I think they complement each other so well. I just want to do a bunch of looks with just these three colors, like draw things all over my face. Oh, I wish I had my UV flashlight because then I can show you how it lights up in UV. Damn it, I really want to find that. Let me go look for it. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch the Block Party palette. I'm going to put a little bit of foundation on my arm so that it kind of primes it because for this to be a fair swatch, I want to kind of give it some stickiness, I guess, because when I put it on my eye, I never just put it on bare. I always have something that it sticks to. I usually use concealer to prime. So I don't want to like smear concealer all over my arm. So we're going to start with this top row. This is barbecue which is like a purpley shimmer. Is that a birth work? Yeah. This one is Boombox, a turquoise matte. This is Lemonade. You can't really see it right now in this light. If I lower the light a little bit, you can see it's a yellow matte. Flash Mob, which is a pinkish shimmer. Last, we have Milkshake, which is just a matte white that's gonna be hard to show off of my skin. That is row one. Here's lower lighting and that's brighter light. Oh my arm hurts. So can we just talk about how pretty the water is for the mix between all three of the hydro liners? That's gorgeous. Okay I'm gonna wash this off and we're gonna do row two. So I'm just gonna prime again with my foundation. We're gonna start off with dancing shoes. Another one of the matte shades and it's just a dark, dark navy blue, almost black. Next we have nachos. This is just a shimmery orange color. Ignore the little patch on top, that's my birthmark. I should have not 
put it on there, but I didn't see it. I can't really see the screen so well. Next we have mixtape. Sorry, I'm not flipping you off. Ooh. Ooh, that's gorgeous. So actually, I just realized this now. This looks like a shimmer version of Breezy Hydro Liner. Like, it's lighter, but you can see it looks like the same color, which is really cool if you want to do a look with the shimmer and then do the Hydro Liner. Next, we have one of my favorite colors in this palette, Drunk Love. It's just this neon matte pink. It's a really pretty color, and I have it on my eyes. I have everything on my eyes right now is from this palette, and you'll see it when I put the video of me putting it on, which will go somewhere in this video. Last but not least, we have Popsicle, which is a shimmery purple. There you go. And there you have the last row, and I'll do again with low light and with highlights. I kind of like the way it looks. It looks like some weird swatch tattoo. Ooh, yummy. So I guess I'll talk a little bit about the palette. My very first impression when I first opened it was that it was smaller than I thought it would be. It's not the biggest palette and it's not very heavy. It's also pretty thin too, but there is 10 shades in here. It doesn't look like their usual palettes. I think I was expecting it to come in this kind of thing which is like more substantial and like heavier also with these amazing pan sizes that is one of my favorite things about these colors they are so large that you could also wear them as blush i mean obviously you could still wear it as blush like i'm wearing drunk love right now as a blush too and i think that looks so pretty but it's a little bit harder to like dip your brush into it when it's smaller and also I imagine that it wouldn't last as long for each color. Like I used this today and yesterday and it's already dipping a little bit in these two colors. In terms of the lifespan of the palette, I don't think it's gonna last as long. But like I said, you do get more colors. This is just a personal thing, but I prefer mattes. I love the Cupcakes and Monsters palette because it's all bright matte colors, but the shimmers here were really pretty. That mixtape blue is gorgeous. And also I really like the popsicle flash mode and barbecue bbq i don't think i'm gonna wear as much probably because they're neutral <laughs> also i feel like when i do want a shimmer i usually want like a really really bright shimmer like almost to the point of glitter something more foiled that feels more buttery it's definitely very smooth but it's not to the point of like foil do you know what i mean these are a little bit more subtle like it has a shimmer but it's not like pow but a lot of people like that. I just personally usually like it to be like on either end. It's either all matte or it's like sparkle sparkle. So I'm not a big fan of like the mid-range shimmers. So that's just I guess my personal preference but also just to let you know that it's more of like a shimmer rather than like a glitter. So the blendability, the blendability, it wasn't like oh my god it blends better than any palette I've ever used but it blends at my standard which is great. You know I was able to create this eye look so I'm happy the pigment came out, which I'm very happy about. So that's definitely good pigmentation. There was a little bit of fallout. Ooh, I forgot to wipe it off, actually. You know what? I'm just gonna cover it up because I'm lazy. So yes, there was a little bit of fallout, but nothing crazy. When I dip my brush into it, let me just show you. Like, it's not powdering everywhere. There are certain palettes, they like really turn powdery when you dip your brush into them. It's hard to work with. This is fine. It didn't make it too hard to work with. I got a little bit of fallout, but that's normal. What other things do I usually review? I would review smell, but I literally cannot smell right now because my nose is completely clogged up. I don't think there was a smell if I remember when I first opened it. I actually really want to know if grape soda has a smell because that would be really cool if they made it smell like grape. But yeah, you'll see a little bit more of blendability when I show you me doing this look so you can see how I worked with it. Yeah, overall I'm happy with it. The price point, let's go over that. This is $30. Don't remember how much the Cupcakes and Monsters palette is because I bought it on Cyber Monday. I think it was like half off or something crazy. Oh, wow. Okay, so I think the Cupcakes and Monsters palette is $50. Yeah, on their website. All of their eight large pan palettes are $50. So that actually gives me a really good idea of the comparison with this. I do think for their shadows this is great because you get 10 colors 
even though they're not as big as this one. There's more like content in here because the pans are, are bigger, but you do get more shade range. So I would agree that that is three-fifths of that size. Oh, another thing about this is I don't think that this is like a reusable palette, which is something that I really liked about this one. These little nooks here, you can take out the colors. I think the bottom is magnetic, so you can put it in another one of your Z palettes, and then you can like replenish in this one as it doesn't look like you can take them out. This is vegan and cruelty free like I mentioned. My final thoughts are that I do really like this palette. I like the colors in it. I really like this eye look that I did completely using this palette. I do think that I prefer the Cupcakes and Monsters over that, but that's just my preference and also because I bought this for like 20 something dollars. I got a lot for my money, but this is like a bit more substantial. But yeah, if you were looking to sample the Suma Beauty eyeshadows but you didn't want to like fill out a full palette like this, this is definitely a good way to go because it's like, it's basically like a sampler. So yeah, what else should I talk about? I guess now I'll show you how I did this eye look. <laughs> Transition. Hey, I'm back in voiceover and my voice still sounds crazy. So I just primed with concealer and now I'm putting lemonade in my crease and I'm kind of blending it out and using Boombox to put in my crease to deepen it. And then I'm gonna put some dancing shoes underneath that. So you wanna pack the color on first with a firm brush before blending it out so that you get more pigmentation. And then you wanna cut the crease. I'm using Kat Von D Whiteout Concealer because white will pick up the color better, make it brighter. So I did put the white matte shade milkshake on the inner part, but it was completely out of frame, so I apologize. But now I'm putting lemonade next to it, and then I'm putting some drunk love right next to that. Kind of trying to blend that a little bit, and then popsicle, the purple. And I'm not blending it completely because I'm going to do that later, but then I put some more of the boombox on the outside again. And I'm showing my empty container of Rouge and Rogue because I had already taken them off. Um, yeah, now I'm putting on the bottom the same colors I put on top, Boombox Lemonade and some mascara. This is Thrive Cosmetics. This is Styly Style Eyeliner. I'm just throwing it in the waterlines. I think it was called Emerald. And I'm cleaning up a little bit on the inner corner because it literally keeps transferring. So throughout the video, you could see it also transferred, but I like it sharp, so I tried. And now I'm putting Drunk Love as a blush, which I really liked. That came out really cool. And then I highlighted with some Incredible You Glow Girl, which is like literally a gel. It's like flubbery gel and it's holographic and beautiful. And this is my Naked Cosmetics Holographic Highlight Palette. And I just topped it with some more like lavender highlight and doing the inner corners. And I popped down my wig too, which I should have worn the whole time because I loved the way that looked. And that's it. husband's peeing. I'm just gonna wait for him to finish. It's so weird to say husband. He's probably gonna flush. <coughs> Whew. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you. If it did, give it a thumbs up or just give it a thumbs up because you're feeling nice. And subscribe for more videos and I will see you in my next video. There's the flush.